You love podcasts, the stories, the laughs, the unexpected turns. But when this episode ends, the silence starts. Not anymore. Audiobooks.com turns that silence into your next great adventure. With over 450,000 titles, from bestsellers to hidden gems, your love for listening just found its new best friend. And because you already know the joy of audio, we're giving you three free audiobooks to start your journey. Imagine your favorite podcast, now with unlimited episodes. That's audiobooks.com. Keep the story going. Sign up for your free trial at audiobooks.com slash podcast free today. Because for podcast lovers like you, the end of an episode is just the beginning. That's audiobooks.com slash podcast F-R-E-E. You know, everybody's got a to-do list. Drop off the dry cleaning, pick up some milk. Here's an idea. Let's add save hundreds of dollars on car insurance. And the good thing is you don't have to drop off or pick up anything. All you have to do is go to geico.com, and in 15 minutes, you could be saving 15% or more on car insurance. Extra money in your pocket. It just may be the most rewarding to-do you do today. Now, Podcast One brings you Spike's Car Radio. A downloadable Cars and Coffee, hosted by writer, comedian, and automotive enthusiast, Spike Ferriston. Now, here's Spike. Hey everybody, welcome to Spike's Car Radio. We got a big Porsche show for you. I'm very excited about today's show. Um, I'm sure you guys know about the Amelia Island Concours. I'm sure you remember when Jerry Seinfeld sold, I think it was 16 of his cars, uh, at Gooding & Company's Amelia Island Concours in Florida a couple years ago. Well, there's another big auction like that of some incredible cars, um, and they're being sold by Jan Coombe. Don't know that name? Well, first and foremost, he's the first billionaire we've had here on Spike's Car Radio, and he used a lot of that money that he made uh, with his WhatsApp. He created WhatsApp. You know, you know that little messaging app you use to talk uh, privately to people, and maybe, maybe your side Girls. piece. We're today going to go through. You have ten cars up, Jan. Yeah, there will be ten cars for ten sale. Ten cars. We're gonna go. We're just gonna go through the cars. And talk about Porsches with you. Well, Jan, thanks for coming here, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. I, I've heard, and Zuckerman, I know you've heard too, uh, through the, the Porsche community, that you were a very big collector. How long, I really want to ask him about the billion dollars. What's it like being a billionaire first? Did, <laughs> which, which, which came first, the, the Porsche love or the billion dollars? I had a, nine, I had a 924 when I was still in high school. You did? I had, I had this green car with about 100,000 <laughs> miles on it that was falling apart. It was 1976 model year, which is like the first year they were made. And that's when it all started. And despite the, the pains of owning that car, you know, the love was there. I had a 996 in the early 2000s. And, and where, where, where did I, I detect a New Jersey ac- accent? Where, no. did, did you, where did you grow up? I was born in Ukraine. In Ukraine. But I've been in California for 25 years. He looks like he could strangle people. <laughs> but I like you. See, <laughs> no, wait, but yeah. where, where did you have the 924? Did you have it in Ukraine? No, no, here, here in you high school. Here, yeah, yeah. Wow. I, actually, little... I think I was in college by that point. It's a, he's a very interesting amalgam of a human, Zuckerman, because he kind of looks a little like you, but he sounds like Moise, our friend Moise. <laughs> a, a little, no, 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 no. He, he okay. This is what I respect. Another high, this, high I, net worth individual. Yeah, but what him. I can sense here is this guy was born hungry. Yes, and, and, and that's something you're either born with or you're not. Yeah, yeah. Well, the story, if you've ever read this story, and we won't go too deep into it, is pretty remarkable of WhatsApp and how it was created and and where it went on to go. Right? You guys suffered for a while with that thing. You put it together with a good friend of yours, right? Yeah, we we knew each other from working at Yahoo back uh-huh. from '98 until 2007. So uh-huh. we became really good friends, and uh, then we both left Yahoo and we started WhatsApp. And, uh, Can I just ask you one simple question yeah. about this? What led you to believe that people needed encrypted messaging? Like when, when here I am just thinking my Yahoo email is encrypted, I'm fine, right? <laughs> no, you're hey, shaking, shaking your head, <laughs> right? With so Gmail, stupid. Gmail, for everybody listening, Gmail was two-factor authentication. That's what you have to do, two-factor authentication. If you don't have two-factor authentication, turn it on right now. Really? Why? Yes, people are going to hack you. My kids are going to get hacked. My wife is going to get hacked. Somebody will, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So so you saw, you, you kind of understood this before the rest of us knew we needed it. Well, we, we did it because SMS sucked. If you remember 10, 15 years ago, SMS didn't really work. Right. You either had to pay a lot of money for it, or if you sent a picture or a video, it was like 50 cents or, or a euro if you're in Europe. And I remember inter- that. Internationally, right. it didn't work. No, if you sent from Nokia phone, remember Nokia phone? Yeah, from a yeah. Nokia phone to a Samsung phone. 
the format for video was different. The audio didn't play. It was a, it was a mess. It just none of that stuff worked, and it was expensive. I, re- I forgot that they used to charge for tech sucker. Yeah. Do you still kind of believe? I still I, I, kind of I, believe. I'm shaking my head because it's how it's funny how fast we forget things. But I'm looking at at Jan here, and I'm thinking, here's he's he's a guy that has vision when the rest of the world is blind. That's what it must feel like to be you. One of the guys who can see when everybody else around you is blind. And me and Spike are just stupid idiots. See, we don't understand anything. <laughs> But you can see. Is that true? I wouldn't go that far. No, okay. <laughs> I would. I would. Are you still hungry, Jan? Are you still hungry? You're hungry for man. cars. Hungry, hungry for, for cars. Horses. Yeah, so, now it's full-time managing my okay, collection. Okay, so wait. Let's back up. So so, so, uh, is it before you sell to Facebook that you start acquiring Porsches? Yeah, I or, had no uh, money until until you, the transaction happened. Right. How many I, was, pl- I was living in like, on my credit card debt really? at that point. Wow. Yeah. So it was and, really overnight? Yeah, it was really overnight. It was really overnight. Did it fuck with your head? It, no, no, it really? doesn't. No. It doesn't. To go from having nothing to having lots isn't a trip. Uh, you get used to it. It's like you still. What I tell everybody is, you're still the same person. If you're an asshole, you're going to be an asshole. If you have money, if you don't have money, if you're a nice person, it's you're going to like. Money it doesn't really change who you are deep down. It changes things on the surface. You can wear different clothes and you can have different experiences, but who you are as a person doesn't fundamentally change. But there must be a there must be a point. Sorry, Spike. There must be a point in time where initially you everything you ever wanted you go out and buy, and and you you must go through that stage. Never really wanted much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Except a lot of Porsches. Just, just cars. It's just toys, right? Like, you grow up and you just want toys. Yeah, right. It's like that's planes, true. And if cars, you didn't have the toys, stuff. you want the toys. No, I totally get that. I asked him what he drove today, and he goes, a plane. He goes, I live in San Francisco. You didn't know that? I was like, no, I didn't. I, for some reason, I, yeah, I, I flew down you were here. here with us. No, I know. That's fantastic. Well, thank you for coming in, man. And anyway, sure. I don't want to get too far. But but so wait, I, I do want to find out. So what was that first uh, Porsche you bought when you got the money? What was the one you went, I'm going to get that? Oh man, I think what I really the first one that I found was a was a 959 that I did not end up buying. Mm-hmm. But what I think the first classic Porsche that I bought cuz I also bought new. I think the first new one that I bought was a 918 cuz I was like, "Oh my god, I can't afford a 918 now." It's like and I was thinking about it for a few days and I'm like, "Wait, why wouldn't I buy it? I can't afford a 918 now." It was like this weird <laughs> moment of like, I can actually buy a 918. Yeah. It's wow. like I walk into the dealership and and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna buy a 918, and then I bought a second one. Um, because one, <laughs> why was, have one, two? One, one, one was Weissack Wy- Wy- package and one was out Weissack package. So this but is 2014 <laughs> or 15. This is 2000. So you're end of 2014. Du- you're double VIP now in the VIP program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that. So um, I, give us a VIP <laughs> for what? There is nothing. Be... They're not building anything limited no. anymore. Well, what, what that's is the right. That's like? what we always told. We, we said they're a mass producer of, of limited, limited cars. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. Not, they're not building any the limited Rensport cars anymore. Edition 935. They all sorts of things that they're making in the speech so we can all be special but so Speedsters now you have a lot of so speech. so you have this j- big collection of cars and you thought i need to relieve the garage space pressure a little bit open up some spots and 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 keep these things flowing right yeah 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 basically get wow. the leeches out bleed the bleed the well a lot of, a lot of them i have are duplicates in some cases triplicates um and my tastes also have evolved like when i yes. start when i like i think it happens with every collector when you yes. first get into something you like one thing and then as i learned more and more about the cars i've realized that the cars i like are the cars that are very minimalistic so for example i have gt3 rs 4.0 that i'm selling which is a great car but it has a radio and i love cars without radio i love cars with no radio no sunroof (laughs) no air conditioner manual windows no airbag like as minimalistic as possible so as my tastes have evolved i've always told myself if i get a different car that i like more i'll sell the other one and i actually never did it until now yeah, well, these are incredible cars. And they're we, all, all ten of them are really amazing. And cars. they were all special cars. And your, your taste was never off, but I understand. We all talk about how we evolve yeah. in the collector in the collector game, if if you will. There is an educational process. It doesn't really end, but you, yeah. you definitely hone in on, on what you like. Like for example, I, I agree with you. I I went through a big turbo phase, and I liked the turbos. But at the end of the day, the naturally aspirated cars. I think are a little bit more fun to drive. Yeah. Well, wow, you yeah. also have a liquid metal chrome blue metallic. We know one of the guys who has one. Which is which car do you have? Which one is in that color? I'm Li- sorry, which liquid one? Liquid chrome blue. 
Liquid that's a 918. Metal, chrome 918. Blue. That's the 918 wow. yeah, of that yeah, color. Yeah, yeah. Well, because Seinfeld has a uh, GT3 RS in that yeah, color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that the same batch made the same day? No. I didn't know there was another no. one. No, his Did car you? was made in like 2016. This was a special paint for that the That color is gorgeous. And this was a special paint for 918 that was like a $60,000 Is this car option. for sale? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, wow, boy. that's massive. Yeah. That's a massive 918. All right, so I want to go through package. these cars. Sure, sure, sure. You don't have to get too technical. Just tell us, you know, what you liked about the car, why you bought it, and uh, I'll go through some stats. Uh, Zuckerman will provide some color commentary. You're like a used car salesman. About things yes. that he'd rather get. Well, this is, <laughs> you know, Zuckerman and I were down there for Car Matchmaker uh, a couple years ago, and he was in my show, and then we were down there with Jerry, and then Jerry was in the show. We really soaked up this auction and that event and absolutely loved it. It's such a wonderful it is. weekend, it is. and it's like a... a Pebble Beach, the Southern Pebble Beach Concours, right? Yeah, and it's. I it's, actually think it's it's a better event for Porsches. I think when it comes to Porsches, it's a better event. Absolutely, yeah. Agreed. It always has been very Porsche centric, and now you know with these cars here, you know you have an opportunity to get something nice. Let's start with this. Uh, it doesn't say what lots or what, but the nine eleven R that you have, um, two hundred ninety six delivered to the U S. Did you know that about nine eleven R Zuckerman? I did not know that that was the actual number. We always questioned what the number was. How did you find that number? This out? is in. Uh, these are all the Gooding listings. Ah. These are, he did not find this out. Gooding sent me everything. Um, so you know, grain of salt. But, but people know. Sounds about right. People know. I didn't know. This car has less than twenty miles ordered new. Less than twenty miles. It, yeah. it has more miles now, right? No, it has about the same miles. 20, it has twenty miles. miles. Yeah, yeah. It's so a brand really, new car. You didn't drive. It still this has car. a window sticker on a window. Wow. I didn't even take the wrapping off it. And do you have another 911 I have another 911 uh, I have an uh, Irish uh, green one. You have an Irish green one. Yeah. Nice. Wow, that's what great. What color is this car? This car is white. in, yeah, the white, right? It's, with it's black It's like and the red. presentation car was, it's a white car with red stripes, just like the presentation car was. Oh, that would be awesome for me to buy, Spike. Hold on, hold on. Don't you have two 911 I have, Rs? No, I have one, and it's I have black with red stripes. Yeah. So white with red stripes. Wouldn't that be a nice book, It's a good matching pair. You see yeah. what's yes. going to happen right now, Jan. You're gonna <laughs> I'm going to buy everything. We're just going to make a deal. What is going on? I can't take it out of the auctions. They're going to have to bid on it. Delicious. Get that little. Hey, here's something. You're the perfect guy to ask about this. Yeah. Whenever I'm on a site these days, two things are making me crazy, Jan. They're making me crazy. One, can you fill out the survey after you do? No. Install an ad blocker. Yeah. Do you have an ad blocker installed? I do. But then there's this other little, if you touch the, the mouse pad a little wrong, it goes, hey, do you want to subscribe to our newsletter? What is that thing that I, I comes up? I don't go on those websites. Hyman is, Limited has is, that. I, this is I everything. This is everything that does it. You just make one little, you, you know, raise an eyebrow and it goes, your content know, goes off and it goes, do you want annoying. to sign up? Go, fix, uh, invent something to fix that for me, will you? Right, I'd book her. The, here's the 911 R right there, Zuckerman. There it goes. And look at that. Yeah, it still has, still, has, still has all the stickers on it. Look, look what's on the uh, steering wheel, Zuckerman. The, it's got the, <laughs> it's got the shower cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got the shower cap. Jerry was just taking delivery of his 911 R GT3 Touring, and he was pulling stuff off. And I go, "Don't pull anything off." And the, the listeners are giving me a hard time about this, but I'm now keeping everything on these new cars I as much as I can. I yeah. would even think about driving it with the shower cap sucker. I love that little doily on the steering <laughs> and wheel. And so many it's people stretchy. are giving me a hard time about our GT2 RS because the plastic uh, the little uh, saran like wrap is on still there. on the uh, the brake pedal and on the uh, the, the stop yeah, and right. on the throttle. Oh, on the dead pedal. The dead yeah. pedal, yeah, this is fun. This is fun. It comes off eventually. What's the big deal? But it's there's something fun about getting in that car. I'm not... I can't believe you've got all the stickers in this thing just sitting there. So this thing, have you, did you even start it up? Well, yeah. I had drove it from a dealership to my garage, but that was about it. Wow. Incredible car. And, and that car was actually ordered the way 911Rs are supposed to be. It was no radio, very minimalistic. Mm -hmm. What about air conditioning? Yeah, it has air conditioning. You Good. need air conditioning. You need that. I yeah. agree with that. You remember my conversation with <laughs> Angry Andre Priniger. Angry Andy. Please do it for us. When I when I said, uh, well, how much weight can we pull out of the car? This is before they were even uh, acknowledging they were making the R. But I said that you, the three of us had been chatting about how much weight we would want out of a GT3. Said, and it said at least over 200 pounds. And he, <laughs> he put his fist down on the table. And he's 200. That's getting a little, you know, a little, a little much. I said, he goes, you know what I tell you Americans, if you want to take weight out of your car, not you, Spike, but most Americans, why don't you lose 100 pounds? <laughs> then you have 100 pounds less in your car. Go on a diet. You go, you're going to take out the air conditioning. That's what you're going to do. Guess what's going to 
happen in the rain. You're not going to be able to see. You're going to crash. <laughs> no <laughs> radio. Point. You're not saving anything. He really let me have it. <laughs> and ever since, I've called him Angry but, Andy. But he made some really good points. He goes, you, you know you're going to see that weight when you're, uh, when you're on the line and you're going off against a car with radio and air conditioning? You'll see it over 140. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe it inches ahead this much. <laughs> but, but the radio for me is not so much about weight. Sure, it saves weight. But I think it also makes the car more enjoyable to drive. It's, it's more Look, simplistic. we're with you, Jan. We are totally with you. <laughs> okay, okay. I said I immediately called these guys and we were cracking up. I said, I just had the equivalent of the Star Wars nerd talking to J.J. Abrams <laughs> going, look, when, when the Star Trooper turned his head, you know, I'm with you. I totally agree. The less is more. It gives the whole feeling. But these guys, they're too close to it. They don't yeah. understand it. Well, anyways, this looks like a great car. Um, may, need I remind you, 500 horsepower, uh, 4,000 cc DOHC flat six cylinder engine. Have you driven a GT3 Touring? S- yes. And what how do you, do, think? You, do you th- do you th- how do you find it compares to the 911R? I think when you're standing in traffic on 101, there is really no difference right. between the two cars. Can you can you tell a difference though? Have you noticed any difference? I don't think I'm a good enough driver. I think you notice it a little bit because 911R has has a little bit of more mechanical sound to it. Right. Like you hear all these sounds when you drive it. But I think to really notice different on a difference on a road, you have to take it on a track and you have to be a really good driver. What percentage difference have you noticed? Would, would you say it's ninety nine percent the same car? Uh, probably ninety five percent. Jerry says episode. what? Jerry said eighty eight to ninety two, right? Oh, whatever. He know what he's talking about. Look, it's got fatter wheels and it sounds different. There's the only difference. <laughs> right? I know. Want to keep it really simple? That's it. Yes. Do you like I, this flavor of brie cheese I, or this brand of brie cheese? I Which one do you like? You. I, they're both I, brie I, cheese. I just like asking you the question because we we're have all such nerds about it. Porsche, you've got a GT4 here in the lovely yeah. color. Uh, paint to sample again. Signal yellow over black leather. Who do you get your cars from? Is there some dealership? Up yeah, there? I go to uh, Carlson Porsche. Oh, they must love you up City. there. Yeah, right? I'm probably their biggest customer that's fantastic and then when you want to get paint to sample it's no problem what's your what's your average uh, time window for something like that uh i don't know i don't really have a, a time window i just ask for it and as they say yes but it'll and when take it a, comes in it comes in when it comes in yeah so tell us about this car here's another uh, this is a gt4 signal yell it's got less than 500 miles from new so you put a few more miles on this one i drove it all most of the miles are in europe actually on autobahn Nice. Wow. Yeah. You took European delivery. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. And what do you think about this car? I mean, I, I love these GT4s. I've tracked it's them before. so much fun. They're a lot and of fun. And this car was ordered to be on a racetrack. It, again, has no radio. It, it, also no air conditioner, bucket seats. It's like a pure track car. There it is. And, and um, those cars remind me of what an early 911 is about. They're Very so small. Light. They, they, they small fit you they... like a perfectly yeah. tailored suit. <clears throat> You know what I think? So they're 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 like the high speed go karts with racing slicks. Yeah, you can slide them around and not yeah, have to yeah, worry yeah, about yeah, them. Very yeah. controllable experience. I know. Yet we don't seem to buy them, Zuckerman. We don't seem to go near these cars. We're snobby, huh? I love Stupid. my GT4. How many do you have? I have another one in uh, NATO Olive. Oh wow. In green. It's so like that's, dark you green. see what's happening? Good he's case. he's making uh, choices uh, on paint to sample cars. He's going, I've got two paint to sample. But, I'm going to choose right. just yeah, this yeah, one, yeah. which I like just a well hint. considered decisions. I like what <laughs> he thinks. And they're both radio delete cars. So yes. yeah. That was a tough but choice. But you seem to be getting rid of a lot of your yellow, which I, I like yellow in a collection. I was telling Zuckerman the other day, he's got a yellow 993 RS. I know you're selling one I know, of those. I know that car. I saw it at Stuttgart yeah. Fair. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but you didn't buy it. No, I didn't buy it. Is that one of those put-together cars that he bought? No, one no, of those no. It's a great ones? car. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just trying to give him a hard time. It's a great car. It's a great car. But I like yellow because I like walking into the hangar and seeing one or two yellow things. It's a really happy experience on a car, right? Don't you find out in the world yellow works I like gold colors. I'm not a big fan of black, but even lately I like black cars too. Well, they get dirty so quickly. You know, you're yeah, fine. Yeah. Don't change what you're doing. You're, you're improving the Porsche world and the, the, the highway landscape by putting colors in it. Everything's totally white agree. and black, silver yeah. and gray. Look around. Yeah. We're all guilty of that. All right, let's talk about this 918. Uh, less than 40 miles Come on. from new. Uh, again, it says here, uh, 918 examples built 294 specified for the U.S. market, Zuckerman. One of just seven Vysok packages finished in liquid metal chrome blue. So there were seven of these cars in that color? No. It was a Vysok package, yeah. With the, seven with... cars that have that color and the Vysok so package. So that was a standard 918 color then? 
No, I think that was not a standard. I think you have to pay more for that color. That they, color was like an additional 60000 Yeah, they claim that color was particularly difficult to formulate to stick on the various Correct. materials that were used. I think, I think the they car. introduced it for but 918. I think 918 was the first it, car that, yeah, that you could get that color say. on. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. How did yeah. everybody yeah. arrive at this yeah. situation? These cars are great. Zuckman, I saw when you, we were at Bill's yesterday, and I saw uh, some guy, and uh, here I was driving my old, uh, my new Range Rover out, right, in the rain, feeling really happy, and then, uh, and it poured, and it was muddy, and then a guy goes by in a 918. You know what I felt like? coming out, right You know what I felt like? For not driving, I had the GT3 Touring, and they, uh, you know, I didn't want to say. I almost gave up. I almost gave up on the whole car thing yesterday just because of that moment. Mm. Who's the guy driving the 918 around the uh, Malibu Country Mart? Do we know that? I don't know. He's a genius, whoever he is. All Should right, tell us me. about this car. Now you have two 918s, yeah. right? This car has 40 miles. You haven't really driven it. You drove it 20 miles? I basically drove it from a, from a dealer to my garage. Maybe I drove it around the block once. That's about <laughs> it. We also took it in for service to get all the recalls. Oh, this you know, is... these 918s have so many recalls. We had like 10 recalls on these cars that we did at the, at the dealership. Look at this car. Beauty. What right? a beautiful car. But you're keeping the non-Wysock package 918 then. Yes, explain. So which tell us about the car you're keeping because these are the decisions. No, I, I want to know why. Yeah, why aren't you keeping this car? This car is stunning. I know that color very well. And it's, you know, it, it's what Polar Silver wanted to be. It's really yeah. what Polar Silver wanted to be. I don't know. I just had to decide at some point that, you know, I have too many cars, and it's like I'm going to sell one. <laughs> and actually, statistically, the non wisa cars are more rare because everybody ordered a wisa car. Boy, this I is agree. something I've been hearing about on Instagram. Who's saying? Everybody's asking me this question. Do you think the non wisa GT2 RSs will be more valuable? Well, statistically, yes, but that's not the way Porsche buyers buy. Yeah. Right. They, they want everything. They want it loaded up. Especially, especially if it's performance-oriented, yeah. So what color well, they is the one They want to say wisa yeah. It's a black matte wrap. Wow. wow. Yeah. All right. And you drive that car? What's your daily? A little bit. Right now, with the rain we're having, it's a Cayenne Turbo S. Cayenne Turbo S. But that's because we just have horrible rain up in Northern California, and the roads are destroyed, and there's so much traffic. And until the weather gets warmer. Did you ever get into the really old stuff? Are you going to start going nuts I think on that the, stuff? I think the oldest <clears throat> car I have is 1972. I have... I have Three cars from the 70s. I have uh, a 2.4, mm. uh, 1972 2.4. I have a 75 Turbo, the, the first Very year early. of the first model year of the 930 Turbo. And I have a 1976 Carrera 2.7 MFI. Nice. I think those are the only three cars oh, I have from the we, 70s. We have to get you into the 50s and 60s. There is a whole land you haven't <laughs> and discovered. And that's partially why I'm <laughs> yes. selling these cars, because oh. I do want to get into the 50s. Look at you. There's a whole discovery. There's I know, two continents I know. you have not gone on. Wow, I just, I just really have to exciting. make sure that the cars are real. <laughs> yes, you absolutely have to make sure, and good luck figuring that out. <laughs> Someday we'll get to talk about that story. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Especially line item 22, Zuckerman. Yes, Wait, what, am I, what is some of these details he sent? So these are the Gooding write-ups. These, you know, I, I don't need the history lesson of the 918 Gooding when you're uh, putting these together. Just tell us about the car. Don't you always look for, I want to know how many miles are on it, and I want to know its originality and what kind of right. paperwork. Right, the canned language everything. about, the, the, yeah. the, the, they've cut yeah. and pasted, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about. Yeah, for every car, it's the same language. Liquid metal chrome blue, you may know this, so don't answer. Uh, paint option. Zuckerman, take a guess. What does it cost on the 918? I thought it was closer to 100 grand. A little less, a little cheaper. $64,000. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Just for that paint. Wow, what a what a crazy box to check, huh? It's the price of a car. Can, can you imagine? <laughs> it's a German scientist is in the paint laboratory. <laughs> the paint itself is the price of a new boxer, yes. probably. What wow. is in that shit? It looks great. What do you think That's would happen if you eat the paint chips? Uh, you would die. I don't think, but that's wild for paint, right? Yes. That has to be the most expensive paint option there is out there, right? Unless Ferrari's got something going. 64. All right, what do we have here? Here's another thing, Gooding. When you send me these things, they send me a bunch of text files. They, the one thing they left out, guess what they left out? Prices. The prices. The cars. Oh, <laughs> what really? they're called. I'm having to look down into the description. There's no... Oh, I can. you can just look at the top here. Yeah. That says 417-201, yeah. I it just does, want doesn't it say 997 I want the, I need my prompter guy to just write this, like, the year, 997 GT2, right? That's what I have. 
So I'm going to look up and down. 2011-997-GT2. RS. Oh, see, there's not. That's not here. Um, so w- tell us about this car. You know, w- this is one of 42 built for the U.S. market, 500 overall. This is a G- this is the GT2 one RS. One of 142 built for North America. For North America. One okay, of this, 132. This right one of 132 built for United States. Yeah, it's the one on the right. Yes. And one of 500 built worldwide. It's the last GT2 RS with a manual gearbox. Right. This is it. It's and a this was a car. real limited edition yes. car. Yes. Yeah. A real Widowmaker, too. Yeah. This car has uh, less than 500 miles. My God. It's a winner. There's some unbelievable cars here. Can we get you to take some of these cars off the table after this podcast? And I think you and Gooding will have to talk. <laughs> I know, you, David. You, you can call David and I you guys can negotiate. Yeah. It's been Don's really running the operation there. David will say yes, but it'll be Don. Um, have you driven this car a lot? What are your impressions? I've driven this car a little bit. I have another GT2 RS that I actually <laughs> drove uh, a few days ago because I had to go get it smogged. And, you know, you get into the car and you forget how small it is compared to a right, 991. Right. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. You sit in a 991, you got that huge wing, you got the huge fenders. It just feels much he's got bigger. A, he's got a 996 GT2 that's really teeny. Yeah, the Adriatic and, one you got yes. from Ray yeah. Joseph. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've, I've been saying for a long time that I think the 997 is one of the great 911s made. Yeah, it's gonna I be agree. Great. It's going agree. down as a classic. I agree. It's the limited production. It's perfect size, perfect weight, perfect everything. In my opinion, it's 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 when it, when you talk about water cooled uh, 911s, I think 997 is where it really hits the spot. Right. I like and it. Sti- yeah, go ahead. And I think it's still got a hint of crazy to it, right? Like this new GT2 RS is very subdued compared to this last version, but not as nuts as the 996 version. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, we I was driving. Uh, Oh, wait, it was with Jerry. We were driving GT2s. He had his 993 GT2, and I had the GT2 RS, and both in the rain. That's the first time I felt the back end start moving around in that car. Other than that, it's so completely stable. They've oh, engineered, I love they've engineered the wildness GT2s. Right. out of these GT2s. Right, and that's what's kind of fun about it. This car's beautiful. And I think there's what a, a lot of relationship between the 993 GT2 and 997 GT2 RS. They're both manual. They're both kind of crazy. They're both limited in their production numbers. He really gets it, doesn't he, Spike? He really... He's just as lost He's just <laughs> as we are. <laughs> and I like that he still drives his cars to get some eye checked. You're supposed to have a guy do that for you at this point. Yeah, yeah, no, no, like, the whole point of having cars is so I can drive them. <laughs> it is true. I'm like you. I like to do a lot of that stuff myself. It's part of the fun. I've had a lot of... Re- uh, I remember a lot of good times in the GT3 RS, the 997 GT3 RS, getting that smogged. A lot of weird little shops and pulling in and trying yeah. to figure out the height difference and funny conversations. The guy had never smogged a car like that before. I this, like when it just gets done. Huh? I like when it just gets done. I like that too, <laughs> but then you're kind of missing out on the fun, like will it or won't it, all that stuff. Zuckerman's got a bunch of guys, too, who can uh, handle all those situations. Nice. Right. The, I have, I have, I have somebody who's helping me with the collection and maintenance and repairs right. and oil change and stuff like that, but I also like to drive them myself. Yeah, Probably. right? And keep track of how this thing works and yeah. the problems and the issues yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. These, uh, do you remember the 0 to 60 time on a GT2 RS, Zuckerman? I don't mean to put you on the spot. It was, it, okay. They're going to say it was in the threes, but I believe it was sub three. In three, reality. five. Yeah, three, five. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, but I think it's faster than that in real, in real, close 205. to 200. What was the Nürburgring time for that car? 718? Crazy. It was, it was, the goal was to be under 720. It was Seven minutes, 18 seconds. 718, yeah. Have you ever thought about going back to the home country with one of these cars? They have no roads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they have you, to have you a need road. A G, you need a G-Wagon. You, you need like a G63 to drive How there. old were you when you came? 16. Oh, so you really, yeah. so you, you can speak, can you speak Russian and Ukrainian? I can speak Russian. I can barely understand Ukrainian because I grew up in a Russian-speaking household. Right. Yeah. Wow. How well do you know Paul Manafort? Just kidding. <laughs> um, well-regarded automotive journalist Chris Harris was enthralled in July 2010 road test for Brito's, Britain's Evo magazine, saying no other turbocharged 911 comes close to offering the chassis balance that this car does. Uh, all right, here we go. Here's another. What is this? Was another tw- uh, 2011 997 GT3 RS. Is this the green one? 2011. No, this would be the either slate gray 3. Point, uh, gray black 3.8 oh, wait, here it or, is. or white 4.0. Oh, boy, that's a beautiful car. This car, uh, 600 built in total, 150. 
58. Yeah, this is 4.0. Right. Yeah. Let's see. I don't see the miles on this guy. It's about 150 miles. This is a 4.0 or 3.0? Yeah, 4.0. 150 4-0. miles. Well, if he says only 600 were built, that's then a 4.0. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you keeping a 4.0? I have another 4.0 I'm keeping. Oh, was, yeah. Was, here it is. was a factory white. was a factory radio delete. Nice. And this one's white, too. Yeah. These, these 4.0s are the best, uh, for my money, the best GT3s out there. G- Zuckerman, you have a black one. We right. got to take a break. I know. We got to take a break. We'll take a break. Well, it's that. a large digits 3 RS. Was but they just gearbox. sound. Zuckerman was moving cars, and I was helping him out the other day. The sound of the car and the way it drove just blew my mind. It is it, For me, I think if I were to pick one GT3, that's the one I would pick. It's just it, it's a unparalleled. radical interpretation. Yeah, of but it. just that sound, yeah. Zuckerman. There's no other sound like it. It reminds me of the Carrera GT. It's just a sound you just crave. After you drive it, you just forget about it. You, do you have a Carrera GT? Yeah. Good. You're holding on to that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. yeah. All right, good. We're going to talk to you more about some of these cars when we come back with Jan Coombe, Spikes Car Radio. Every car comes with its share of stories. That ding in your bumper when you nervously picked up your first date, the luxury package you got after a big promotion, or the mileage you saved by riding your bike all summer. While you can't put a price tag on your stories now, with True Car, you can at least find out what your car's worth when it's time to sell or trade it in. Just go to True Car, simply enter your license plate number, and watch how your car's details pop up. Then answer a few questions, navigation, and moonroof. Yep. Watch as they bump up your value high mileage you know it you already knew it was going to cost you but now you know how much it dings your wallet so you can plan ahead once you're finished you'll get a true cash offer sent in minutes which you can take to a local certified dealer to cash out a trade in so when you're ready to experience a better way to sell or trade in your car check out true car today true cash offer not available in all areas you're listening to spikes car radio welcome back we're here with jan coom was telling us about uh his 10 cars that are going up at the Amelia Island Concours, Gooding and Company. If you guys haven't been there, you need to go there. Do this. If you're going to pick one car show to go, go to this one. It's, uh, when is it? When is it? March? It's uh, March 8th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Yeah. On the weekend. It's great. You're flying yeah. to Florida. It's going to rain weather. on you. It's good weather. Lots of uh, exotic cars, supercars. I remember Clint McLaren had a big presence when we were down there. It's just one of those amazing uh, things that you want to see. And if you're in the market... For super rare Porsches, you want to pick one of these 10 cars because uh, I am Each feeling one of these envious and feeling jealous Each right now. One of these We're feeling very jealous of what you have, and I like that. Okay, let's talk about this green car. Here we go. This is, again, 28, 997 GT3 RS. Is that what it, what it is? 2011. Yeah, that, that, okay. sorry, 2007, so that must be the green. Yeah, there First it is. First year green. Wow. Yeah. This is a car that you put a lot of miles on, apparently. Oh, it has two owners, 12,500 yeah. miles. I'm guessing the first guy put 12,490 <laughs> miles I on it. I drove it a bit. And you put 10 on. This car is stunning. Green, green GT3 RSs have I gone think, through the roof. I think the that's roof. the best color for that first-generation GT3 RS. Agree. And it's – which green is it? Because I don't see it in front of me here. I don't know if they had a name. I think they just called it RS Green. One of just 53 finished in eye-catching. That's good. RS Green. Yeah, I RS guess it's, so. It's That's called R Screen. Yeah. One of yeah. just 453 examples delivered to the United States or North America. It's got the ceramic brakes. What's the exclusive interior options? I don't see that here. Do you remember? I think I don't remember offhand. I think it has uh, deviated stitching and some extra carbon fiber bits inside. Wow. Well, this color. This is this could be the big breakout car of the whole auction. I'm going to predict right now. I'm going to go out on a limb. Not RS38. Not 964 RS 3.8? They're all, you're going to do very well. But there there's some, something about green cars that makes us crazy right now. Lately, yeah, green yeah. I don't know what lately. it is. Yeah, the, 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 origi- the 997 GT3 RS in green, it's it's hard not to uh, spend a lot of money. I just ordered I just ordered a Forest Green Metallic Turbo S. Like literally That's yesterday, cool. I ordered a car from dealership. Yeah. yeah. Where did you drive this car? Tell around, me what around you around Bay Area. Not, <laughs> not on the track, not anything crazy like that. Or, just, did it, did it have some good bucket, roads. Carbon fiber buckets or comfort seats? I think I think those cars all had comfort seats. I think the buckets were not available in 2007 right. for the first generation. Uh, can you sit in the buckets? Yeah. You're comfortable? I wouldn't say I'm comfortable, but I can sit in them. <laughs> okay. That's a different question. Okay, okay. <clears throat> they were together on that. 0 to 60, 4.2 seconds, They're 192 actually, top speed. Go ahead. What the do you the got? buckets for the for the air cooled cars are. Does your 903 RS have a bucket seat? 
actually, my 993 RS came with uh, sports seats. I see. It was special order with sports seats. But I find those to be more comfortable than the later ones. Really? I find newer to be. N- newer really? one. Yeah, like, like 997, 99, a special 991. 991 bucket seats to me are They're perfect. They're the best. Yeah. yeah. Really? They just hold yeah. you. They I just... find them to be excruciating. Yeah. That's okay. Really? That's my feeble, broken body. I can't imagine a high performance car without them. Well, you know it's, what? You know, it's, but if, if they hurt you, of course, right. go, go to something you're, else. But you're they lucky. Just, they, they, hold you in, they hold you when the rocket takes off. I am this, but you're, and, you're, it, and it puts you in a certain racing state of mind, yeah, which yeah, is nice. Yeah, yeah. You, know? you could shop in the boys' department. You fit nicely in those I also seats. like the uh, ribs in the, in the headrest. The, looking yeah. through the windshield, I like the way I that like seat that looks too. better yeah. in the car. But as when well. I'm actually sitting in it and I'm almost in tears, I don't <laughs> like it. Almost in tears? Yeah. That's Really? Yeah. Almost in tears. Take a picture of that next time and send it to me. I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about 993 RSs because you both, at least right now, today, own Speed Yellow 993 RSs. This car has less than 55,000 kilometers from new, right? Did you have to bring this into the U.S. and do all the work? Yeah, it was shower display. It's under shower display uh, application. Right. Um, and, uh, yeah, I flew it in, uh, flew it in from Germany. It's it's always been in Germany, a uh, highly documented car. was I think it has original invoice, and the guy who bought it ordered some exclusive bits for this car. I can't remember what they are. I think the auction description says what they are. Um, I think there were uh, aluminum handbrake and, and uh, aluminum rings around the uh, dials. And, uh, yeah, I brought it in, and uh, it's kind of a sister car to your 993 mm. RS, except this one doesn't have the painted wheels. Yeah, right. Yeah, but did, but it's funny because they're both they both from Germany and now they both in California. Did you did Thomas J Schmitz help you find <coughs> this car? No, 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 not this car. I have I have a friend in Germany. Jingleheimer Schmitz, <laughs> John J Thomas. This car has power windows, sports seats, air conditioning. Nice. Blaupunkt Dusseldorf radio, standard front and rear spoiler package. What was the big one? The Club Sport package that they had they, on these RSs. You could have gotten a lightweight, yeah. Yeah, you, right. You could have gotten a, a Club Sport package like or you could have gotten a Club Sport car. I actually right. have a 993 RS Club Sport, which has wow. no carpets inside. Wow. And, and Tin can Budweiser like, yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, and it has a, a built-in roll cage from the factory. The Club Sport package just gave you a bigger wing. So this is the exclusive department features it has. Uh, stainless steel oval tailpipes. Yep, yeah, yeah. uh, RS logo door entry guards. You'll enjoy those as you're stepping into your car momentarily. <laughs> Aluminum look shift knob. I like that. That that you use. Uh, instrument dials with chrome yep. bezels. Just three examples of 993 RS were so equipped, and this car carried an original purchase price of 161,400 of- Deutschmarks. DMs is that what? Yeah, that it is? was. It was still Deutschmarks back in uh, back in 1995. You Deutschmarks, Zuckerman, <laughs> you're such a Deutsch. <laughs> These you, cars are the greatest. There's yeah. no other way to describe them. It's just the purest, perfect. It's another moment car for. I, I love Jerry's car. I've driven yours. Yours was one of the few that came out of RM Sotheby's. One of the few auction cars I've ever gotten into on delivery that was just perfection. There was nothing wrong. We were manufacturing problems with that car. Remember, we thought the key didn't right. needed a battery. Nothing, and right. and, wow. and he blasted by me on sunset on the way to my house, and I just looked at it, and he's just dying inside, just going, "I gotta be the guy in the car. I can't be the guy outside of that car." It's incredible. Is yours lowered the way his is lowered? I think I, I can't remember. I think they all have like the same uh, same height. No, yeah. they don't, or unless Jerry messed with his height. But is Jerry's higher or lower than it this? It seemed a little higher. Than that, but it's spectacular. It doesn't matter. It's, it's another, cars it's another just winner wins. car. Anybody who ends up with that car is going to be happy. Those yeah. are fantastic 911s. Yeah, yeah. If you Small, like the 993s, if if that's what you like, this is the ultimate 993. This is ultimate air cooled. I mean, there is nothing else yes. after this. This is the end of air cooled lineup. So you're keeping one 993 RS. Yeah. And that is, and that's the club sport. Well, I have the club okay. sport in red, and then I have another red regular nine nine three RS, not a club sport. And so they're both guards red. I, I like red nine nine threes. He ha- he Ugh. he dislikes them. No, I happen to like them, and I take it you happen to like them as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Whatever, guys. <laughs> such a historic, such such, such a important color. I like it's it on the eighties cars. I like it yes. on, the, and I like a lot of reds. 
But, you know, it's just got to be the right re- shade. I it's got to be a darker, a little closer to a burgundy. You're reacting that's, to that's the douche like. factor of the 90s. There was a, a moment of douche with the red. I'm really not. No, this is my own personal aesthetic, kind of what I gravitate towards. And I look at mm-hmm. it and, and I, I go, sorry. I'd like to go, hmm. When I see it, red never really does that for me. Maybe on a 356 and when it's a little darker. Like a ruby. I like, a, you know, a nice Gibson uh, SG red. Like that burgundy red maroon. <laughs> I, I saw some red carbon fiber that was custom done for a Ferrari La Ferrari on the engine, I think, or an Enzo. That was beautiful. You ever seen red carbon fiber? Never. Oh, man. I don't know. It's like drugs. I can't stop staring at it. But I do like red. It's just certain reds. But I, I respect that, guys. You, you enjoy your reds. None of these cars are red that we're talking about here. Let's get into the 964s. Big Custom, guns. here we go. So we have a 92964 RS. Is that what it is? I don't have it. Is it 38 or regular? Oh, yeah, here it is. This Carrera RS. Okay, mid page, gooding, mid page. It's a Carrera RS, 25,000 kilometers from new. Yeah, that's the, that, that's the blossom yellow car. This car actually came from Thomas Schmidt's. Ultra rare paint to sample, blossom yellow. I've never heard of that. Color. Is that a was lighter a, color than was, a speed yellow? It's a little lighter. Yeah, it was a. It, the the pictures don't really do it justice. You have to see it. You have to really see it in person to 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 understand the color. It's it looks a, very similar, very similar to speed yellow, but it's actually a little bit richer, a little bit deeper than a speed yellow color. And and uh, I just love nine six four RSs in general. Um, what a great looking car. Yeah, I know. Does it sh- show me the wheels? Are there speed lines on that? That's on RS38. That's a 964 RS38 uh, with speed lines. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Th- those are, I love the speed lines. Yeah, good luck finding them new. S- I think, in <laughs> fact, somebody just sold a brand new set of those. What? Where? And I didn't know? Yes, you didn't know because uh, somebody was just pitching me on those. So this, coincidentally, is the same color used for the rough CTR2 mm. yellow bird, the same exact yellow. Yep. This car was delivered to its first owner, Roberto Zorzi of Padova, <laughs> Italy. Suckerman. Car has come a long way to California. Yes. An unusually meticulous owner, Mr. Zorzi, drove the Porsche <laughs> on rare occasions and maintained it in superb condition. Unusually meticulous Italian gentleman, Zorzi. Never driven out of Padova. <laughs> <laughs> only. <laughs> recently sun, smoked in. So yes. Sun miles only. <laughs> <laughs> he would not drive until it at least five hours after eating olive oil what does that mean <laughs> wait no that's not here um no this is more about the look this is good though zorzi's like us he maintained it superb condition he always stored the car in a special way under a car cover with foam placed between the body and the opening panels to facilitate air circulation Oh, Zorzi must be a real treat to live with. <laughs> <laughs> the Zorzi car coon. Zorzi's wife He's is gotta be in a the mental co- hospital right now. <laughs> <laughs> he drove it. Mrs. Zorzi, Senor, Senor Zorzi. Uh, similarly, the doors were not completely closed so as not to compress the rubber gaskets. And paper tissues were placed in the intake and exhaust pipe to protect the engine from humidity. Is this for real? This is all for real. He's coming to the auction to actually make sure it's still in the same the, condition. Zorzi is, this is certifiably Zorzi. insane. <laughs> so, so this is now we have something so, we can tell the guys who take care of our cars. Make sure this is Zorzi. T- <laughs> Zor- <laughs> Zorzi this. I'm not going to yeah. drive it for a few months. Zorzi, Zorzi is currently <laughs> eating bug sandwiches <laughs> in the mental hospital. <laughs> he's, he's on his living room floor with just some oranges and urinating into, <laughs> into a bottle. He's covering he can't the floor. Leave. He's taping. And he's naked. He just, I can't. It's perfect. I don't want to. Take these tissues on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> he even had two stickers made for the car to remind passengers to close the doors carefully and avoid contact with the door sill. Stickers, he, stickers still nightmare. on a car. Stickers still on a car, man. I don't want to get any problems from Mr. I Zorzi. I want to buy the Zorzi car. <laughs> he did uh, fanatical care for over two decades, during which time various parties approached him with offers. He said no. How did you get this car then? Uh, this is through uh, Thomas, Thomas Schmidt. Yeah, yeah, Thomas. Have you met Zorzi, Zorzi in person? No, I'm afraid. Let's please get his number, Spike, and call him. You want to fly him out to the auction? We, we We've want always him. said these are the guys you want to buy your cars from. You if never you're listening, his I know name, his we're, name is in the service book. Well, we're, we, we're joking about this right now, but there's something to be learned here. If you find people who take care of cars, like buy that car because they are fanatical. You'll get a wonderful example and of, it's a, a, wonderful of a Porsche. Example, yeah. Right. 
you know, so you laugh at them, but they are doing you a service. They're saving the car for you, not for him. You can enjoy it. You let your kids run I in there. I wonder what his getting into bed routine was. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, remove the foam between your penis and scrotum. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> I don't know what the Zorzi. I want to meet Zorzi. We have to go to Italy soon. I have soon. his it's... address. It's in the owner's manual. We will be going there. Where's Padova? Is it near Milan? We have to yeah, go to it's, Milan, It's Zuckerman. up there. It's in the north. Yeah, it's northern Italy. Yeah. Yes. This guy rocks. Can you imagine what he's doing now? If this is the car he let go, what he's got going on? Zorzi, get His in contact poor family. with us, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You're, we're just like him. We're pretending this is what we do. You know, you do this. You're like, I don't be careful. You don't step on the Porsche logo on the mat spike. Okay. I get a little worried. My up father about the was dirt, my uh, father was halfway be- to Zorzi. He and, was half and, Zorzi. He was a half a Zorzi, <laughs> and and I barely survived. And I'm barely sane today. What, I know. What, what is your Zorzi bet? People. Like mine is when you start the car <laughs> when it's cold, and then you stop it ten seconds later and oh, start yeah. it again a minute later, and I'm like. WT, I've just let it run. Yeah, right. like, yeah, do you guys yeah, have yeah, pet yeah. peeves yes, like that? Yes, yes. Jay I, Leno's got a great tip for that. He goes, when you get in your car in the morning, turn it on and then return a few emails and check a few messages. And that should be enough time for the oil exactly to warm up a little what bit I did. and yeah. have everything start running. I've and, always used that tip. My, and on the older cars, my Zorzi thing is I like to make sure the radio is off. I don't know why I think that it's, really? it's draining amps when you, when you start it. When you start it, you should have all other electrical items yeah. off. You don't put, put your lights on and radio on first. You don't want to, I don't know, for whatever reason I'm thinking it's going to drain amps or do yeah, something yeah, yeah. to your battery. That's my Zorzi. I yeah. had to escape Zorzi. And it will be harder to start. Yes. I was very Zorzi when I first started in this thing, and it made my enjoyment of the cars not good. I didn't enjoy them as much as I enjoy them now. Like, I would never, and even the GT2 RS in the rain last week, yeah. it was difficult for me. But when I got out there and Jerry's in his car and we own the PCH, we it was one of the greatest drives right. ever. One of the greatest drives. You can't be you too go, precious. You don't, especially with the new stuff. I made sure because my since my father was a half a Zorzi, he ruined <laughs> any hobby he had for me. I never wanted to be around him while he was it, 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 being so precious about his hobbies. And with my kids... I, I let them be in the car. Do you have kids? No, not yet. Lucky you. So, but you know, I, my son, can, my, both my kids can drive stick and can drive the cars, and, and I don't give them shit about the things they're doing, quote, unquote, wrong. Don't be a Zorzi. Don't be a Zorzi. But buy from a Zorzi. A Zorzi. Wow, we've really hit on something wonderful yeah, so here. We, another, we've coined a Zorzi. <laughs> Hashtag yeah, another, Zorzi. Another word for the podcast that we're going to have our own little lexicon here, Zorziism. <laughs> 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 because there are a lot of benefits to being a Zorzi if you're going to buy from the Zorzi. But you don't want to be yeah, like a Zorzi them, yeah. unless... You're I think you're allowed to be hold. 10 to 15% Zorzi, but full Zorzi, this guy... Something you, else. Well, so you still have to take care of them and yes. respect the cars, but yeah. But yeah, when you read that description, to have a procedure. You, when you, you read the description, the catalog, I go crazy. Like I want up, I want that car. That's exactly. the one I want. But could you I know that's going to be the best. Mrs. One. Zorzi has to be there with the tissues to put on the tailpipes. <laughs> Do you think she finds <laughs> with him? the Q-tips? Yeah, with the Q-tips, she is not Dr. finding. Man, you were in a better spot when you were like his personal. Zorzi hygiene, like, <laughs> like what he does with his clothes. I want to know about his bathroom now. Like, does that extend to everything? Yeah, she and he's not getting a lot. She she's turned <laughs> off by it. He can't do it. The whole thing. When he, uh, if there if there are Zorzi children, I'd be surprised. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, we're gonna dig in deep on the Zorzi kids. Are you going? Two million Island? Are you gonna go on stage yeah, and there. introduce these cars? No, no, no. no I don't that's wanna. good. You don't yeah. have to. You know, it's sometimes I feel like that's a little bit of pressure on the audience when the guy's there looking around. Chilling. Going, right. And it's not like you need the money. This is great. I think it's great that you're putting these cars yeah, back in Yeah, they're all no reserve. That's the whole point of Everyone. You know, needing some money. Oh, Everyone. Look at that. No reserve. I'm going. Look at that, Suckerman. They're all no they're reserve. They're going. They're I all he, selling. They're all going. All 10 of them are selling. I'm not taking a single one back I home. I like That's this That's awesome, guy. man. That's awesome. Not a chiseler. Not a What, what did you hold back that we're going to buy after the podcast? What else? Yeah, we'll, what we'll, we'll talk about it offline. <laughs> yeah. Because there's got to be got some it. other stuff. Oh, hey. The Zorzi car, though. The Zorzi the car. The Zorzi car. There's a lot of great stuff, Sarkin. Uh, I mean, if you're looking at all of it. The Zorzi is made for you because you're already in love with Zorzi's story. The GT2 RS, <laughs> the 4.0. I mean, I don't know where to stop. There are so many wings what, in this auction. What do you auction. think about what? It, well, so another thing about the auction you mentioned, wings, is that I wanted to create a group of cars. If you look at them all together as a group, they all have some sort of 
YSOC slash motorsport relation. They're all either right. GT cars or RS cars. You curated. Or built by YSOC or motorsport. I mean, every single one of them. He's not getting rid nine, of junk, n- this 964 guy. 964 RS38, 964 RS, uh, 993 RS, GT4, 911 R, 918. They're all YSOC slash motorsport cars. It's an instant collection for somebody. Yeah. Of, of what Porsche's I, latest and greatest. There's a couple other 964s, right? There is a 964 RS38, yes. one of 55 made. A real baller. What color is that car? Signal yellow. Signal yellow, yeah. yeah. No, did, sorry, did, speed yellow, speed did yellow. Did you keep one? Yeah, I have another one I'm keeping. Those are fantastic cars. Oh, they're so rare. Well, and they're they rare, look, but... They look so good in that turbo body. Oh, have you done anything the to, lines? Sus- to the suspension to make it drive better on the street? Or are you tracking no, it? No, no. no I'm Just not, bouncing I'm not, around? I'm not going to track it. You realize there's, a, I think, a 400-pound difference between a 964 RS 3.8 and a, and a 964 turbo? 400 pounds. You, that's, <laughs> you lose 400 yes, pounds. That's, a, that's big. That is big. Yeah. That, and so that's why they're so, uh, 300 horsepower, I think they are, and they're, what, 1,200 kilos. Yeah. Yeah. What a, what a ratio. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and super rare. Yes. You don't see one on the street ever. No, the only other person I know that has one is our other friend. Yeah. 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 I think, wait, but actually, they're a little Pappas, hard to had, drive. Pappas little... has one. Yeah, there's right? no power steering. It's not even that. It's just it's, you want to, you know, damper up the suspension a little bit to make it a little more street usable. I find it hard to drive because of the pressure. Yeah. It's such a rare and expensive car. You don't want to be the one to, to mess it up. Oh, that's Does fine. it matter to you? Yeah, that doesn't matter. You, for, you ma- for a guy like <clears throat> you. Not, not in terms of money. It matters in terms of the cars, how rare it is and the history. And, you know, you want to you wanna zorzi it for the next guy. You yes. know, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I think you drive those cars. They're race cars. You drive them. You fix them up. They'll be fine. So you are keeping... Uh, uh, another one. What color are you keeping? I have maritime blue. Oh boy! And I have another Wait. yellow. Two. He has three. <laughs> of three. course, Suckerman. Wouldn't you? <laughs> yes. Why not? <laughs> Said you need Zuckerman. one. How many GT2 RSs do you have, Suckerman? You have two of those. How many 964 RSs do you have? Currently, one. Yeah, just... No, two. You're right, too. <laughs> okay. Currently, okay. Okay. And there yeah. was a third that just got released. Yes. So, so yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I suffer from, from, it's from good. being a hoarder. It's good. You guys, you know, we're all popularizing these things. We're bringing them to the forefront. We're driving them, then we're turning them back out into the world and sharing them with everybody. We're talking about them. That's why people are tuned in today. They just want to hear about these cars. They want to hear about what it's like owning them, the pressures that nobody can relate to. I remember David Letterman when when, when I first started writing for David <laughs> Letterman. He, Say it again. And I met him out in Santa Monica. He showed me his car collection. I had no idea what a car collection was. He said, I, he goes, it gives me anxiety. And I go, I don't understand that. He goes, I can't explain. It just it gives me anxiety living in New York and knowing my cars are here. I understand that now. I understand that. There's a lot of responsibility, even if you're not as always. Everybody listening is like us in some way. And they like hearing about our insanity. They've learned today about Zorzi and how not to be a Zorzi. He's got to be buy thin. From a Zorzi. He's thin, and he's got a mustache, a meticulously groomed mustache. He slaps his help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. He doesn't slap it. Well, we'll try and track Zorzi down and see if we can get him on the phone. <laughs> he's the perfect guy to talk to, right? We've got a pretty big list at this point, Zuckerman. We've got Cat Bob in New York. We've got to get in touch with him. This would be a good show. It's kind of our version of the Whack Pack, the Porsche Whack right. Pack. You right? wonder how, how did how did Zorzi come up with these these th- methods to maintain the car? Did Think he... of what he's saying there. I don't want to compress the... the rubber. All right. <laughs> now the problem with rubber usually is not compression; it's age, <laughs> right? Falling it hardens. <laughs> it's not compression. It's 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 environment. It's humidity. Those th- it gets brittle, and then you replace it, but it's easy. But then like, it's not original anymore if you replace it. You've got a car right now. You know, that 66 that right. you've got in my hangar, I took it out to take a little sorting pass with it. And I told him, one of the things I'm hearing is this original <laughs> rubber. Is, it's, got, it's making a noise. Yes, it's true. Yeah, and yeah. he's saying, but it's original. I said, well, yeah, but I don't want to drive that car anymore. It's true. The car's not going to get used. You know, at the, at the end of the day, you know, I've had enough of these things. I've had perfect original things that have been hit, and they, they sell for just as much. As long as it's not a devastating hit, it ends up being fine because you've sorted out the driving issues, and at the end of the day, this is about driving. It's not about perfect preservation. Anyway, I'm excited for this auction, man. Yeah, I'm, me too. Should, I'm, should we go? I'm happy that you came on. Thank you. You know us. We always say we won't, but then we'll end up going there. Well, I we say wanna, we will, and we won't. I do want to go. It'd be fun to see these cars go off. These and are now, great cars. 
And now, you know, it's just like a few years ago. You were you were trying to buy Jerry's uh, IROC. Remember that for Car Matchmaker? And you got outbid? By? Who who got, who got outbid you? I forget. Carlo. Carlo. Who's Monteverdi. That? Carlos Monteverdi. Oh, Carlos Monteverdi. Oh, yeah. I didn't know he bought that car. Yeah, he bought wow. two cars at that auction. So, And that went for 2.3, right? 2.3. Yep. What's the value on a car like that right now? <sighs> Same? Three, probably two or three to three. Why would he sell it for two three? Yeah. If I had that car, I was I would be selling it for more. That was that was the car of of the auction. That was right, the car right. that I really thought Jerry, if he made any <clears throat> mistakes, it was that one. He Have you ever thought it. about getting one of these IROC cars? Because I can personally attest they are the best driving racing nine eleven out there. You will. I'm not, love I'm not them. really into race. I don't have a whole lot of race cars. Well, it's a race car. You put a license plate on. You drive it on the street. They come with titles. Yeah. We're going to put you in some older the problem, cars. The problem with race yet. cars that I always kind of hesitate a little bit is, you know, they've been they've been they've been on the tracks, they've been beat up, they've been hit and repainted, and you know, I always try to have cars that are like super pristine. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. Like this low mileage, had its original, original paint. This car had its original engine in it, and a lot of its original. But was bits. original paint? No, not for a race car. Yeah, that doesn't exactly. matter. But you were driving something that should not be on the road. You'll get there. You'll get there. Eventually, I remember Shed the first that drive in that car, but the but the steering, the direct feel of the yeah. steering. Don't you but, have a but, place out at a racetrack? No, you don't. You're not over at Thermal Club, are you? No, but we have we have Thunder Hill and we have Laguna Second nearby. You, just that that car in particular, because I know what you're saying about race cars, yeah. but that race car on the road or on the track is an incredible example of Porsche's 911 steering. Like like what we love about the 73 RSs and yeah. the, the road going RSRs, this this car has it in spades. There's it's It reminds me of a little red wagon, that the directness of the steering yeah. and the brakes and the throttle. And the sound is, again, something that'll you can you can die after that. Have you spent any time in a 356? I don't know if I fit into a 356. Yeah, I got, you, I got, I got, yeah, I got to try it on first. <clears throat> well, next time you're down here, man, come drive with us. Yeah, come thanks. hang out. We'll uh, we'll grab some cars. We'll go out to Malibu. We'll chit chat. Yeah, Introduce I can, ship, you to I a can girl. Ship, ship something here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, you're in. All right, you're in. Got to wait for better weather. You've been listening to Jan Coom. Jan, do you have any social media that you want anybody to bother you with? No, no, none at all. Unless somebody has a cool car tour for me. Yes, well, that's <laughs> why an Instagram account is helpful. Zuckerman, what do you got to say for yourself? I got to say, you can follow me at the Real Zuckerman. If you've been in an accident, you've been injured, you you need something from me. You can also get me at the <laughs> law offices of Carpenter. Zuckerman and Rowley. And if you've seen any mutant peanut M&Ms, yes. flood Zuckerman's messaging on Instagram with it. And i am uh, I'll talk to you on Instagram. It's been nice uh, hanging out with all of you. We'll see you next time on Spikes Thank Car you. Radio. Thanks for listening to Spikes Car Radio. Download new episodes every Wednesday on the Podcast One app or subscribe now at Apple Podcasts or PodcastOne.com. Celebrity Big Brother is back, and we've got recaps of every single episode here on Rob as a Podcast. So whether you watch for the epic blind sides or for the insanity, like Ricky Williams giving a colon massage to a constipated Cato Kalin, yes, that happened. Check out our Celebrity Big Brother coverage on Rob as a Podcast on Apple Podcasts, PodcastOne.com, or the Podcast One app. You love podcasts. The stories, the laughs, the unexpected turns. But when this episode ends, the silence starts. Not anymore. Audiobooks.com turns that silence into your next great adventure. With over 450,000 titles, from bestsellers to hidden gems, your love for listening just found its new best friend. And because you already know the joy of audio, we're giving you three free audiobooks to start your journey. Imagine your favorite podcast, now with unlimited episodes. That's audiobooks.com. Keep the story going. Sign up for your free trial at audiobooks.com slash podcast free today. Because for podcast lovers like you, the end of an episode is just the beginning. That's audiobooks.com slash podcast F-R-E-E.